This is the price Ali Karoubi paid when he dared to speak out against the Iranian government, his family tells CNN. It didn't matter that his father was Mehdi Karoubi, the former Speaker of Parliament and a two-time presidential candidate. In a phone call from Tehran, Ali Karoubi's wife told CNN it was his link to his father that made the beating worse. His hand was hit with such force with a baton that they wrapped up his hand for him. His pants were also bloody because they had hit him in the head and he bled on his pants. Nafisa Panahi says her husband and his father were marching with this group during the anniversary celebration of the Islamic Revolution last Thursday. Video clips posted on YouTube show the march was peaceful, but suddenly chaos. Pink-colored tear gas and plain-clothed pro-government militiamen chase the group away. Mehdi Karoubi escapes, but his son Ali is arrested and, according to his wife, taken to a nearby mosque with dozens of other detainees. When he told them his name, they asked him if he was related to Mr. Karoubi, and he said yes. From then on, they started abusing him. They wanted to strike fear in the others by saying, look, if we do this to Mr. Karoubi's son, imagine what we'll do to you. Panahi says her husband was beaten for hours with batons and electric cables, then released. The assault comes amid the Iranian regime's crackdown against the opposition movement. Human rights groups say prior to Thursday's anniversary celebration, dozens of prominent activists were arrested. Opposition leader Mir Hossein Mousavi's website reported militiamen beat his wife too and prevented him from attending. The ruthless strategy appeared to work as the opposition movement failed to disrupt President Ahmadinejad's speech. Ali Karoubi's wife says the opposition movement may be wounded, but they've sacrificed too much to give up. This time, the people will not stop because for their cause, they've spilled their blood, they've lost their children, they've been beaten and jailed, and a thousand other hardships. We've reached out to the Iranian government for comment about this incident, but have yet to hear back. Meanwhile, analysts say if the opposition movement wants to stay alive, they have to come up with effective leadership and a strategy to counter the government's crackdown. For now, momentum appears to be on the government side. Reza Sayyid, CNN, Islamabad.